Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an NPC follow you in Roblox Studio. I'm sorry that I probably haven't recorded very consistently, and I haven't uploaded in a very long time, like a month and a year. So, um, yeah. So, so that, so that's, um, so I'm sorry about that. So now, I let's let's get started. So I'm gonna go into the base plate, and let's get um, a rig. So we're gonna go into from home into avatar. And then we can click Rig Builder. So we're gonna do um, an R15 block avatar and masculine. So let's do that. So this is what we have, um, um, a, a rig. So let's, um, so let's do it. So this is, so what we're basically gonna do is that this is gonna update every 0.01 seconds to come and follow us. So it's gonna update very, very fast and it's always gonna be moving. It's always gonna be updating uh, to whatever position my body is at. So, um, or your body is at. So let's insert a script into the rig. We're gonna call this the handler. And let's let's start with some code. Um, local. Um, let's say local. So we're gonna get the player. So let's say local player, as an example. Um, and let's say game dot workspace colon wait for child, and then we're gonna type in your username. So my username is of course scripted ocean. So we're gonna type in not spawn location scripted ocean okay so now we're gonna um, get the rig so local rig is equal to game dot workspace colon find first child and a rig okay now we're gonna do um we're gonna make it so that this updates very very fast so we're gonna say while wait 0 0.01 do so this will make it so that this will update very, very fast and, and be able to um, print me messages. Like we can print uh, hello a bunch of times, as we can see here. Look at this, hello a bunch of times. It's going super duper fast, we're over 100. So yeah, so it can print a bunch of bunch of times if we, if we were to print it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna this is the this is the biggest part of it. This is the biggest part of the video. So we're gonna say rig colon find first child humanoid. So we're gonna we're gonna get the humanoid, and then we're gonna say dot walk two point. The walk two point is something in the humanoid that allows it to be able to um, tell. We can tell the humanoid where to where to um where to, where where should you follow so if it was if it was if it was one 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 then what that would mean that they would follow to one 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 they would follow to the one 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 position in the, in the in entire map so if i was at the edge of the map he, they would he would the rig would follow at the edge of the map if we were in the middle of the map, it will it will follow there too. So what we're gonna say is that the walk to point is going to be equal to the player dot primary part. So this is the this is the essential part of the of the player's body dot position, and we're gonna get the position of, of that primary part. If you're wondering what the primary part is. So if we can click the, for example, we I'm just going to be using the rig because the rig is the exact same thing as the player in terms of the primary part. You can see that it is the humanoid root part. I, and I could just play it for you right now. If we were to go into the workspace, take a look at um, Scripted Ocean. Um, yeah, you can already see that the, yeah. The, the thing is following me. I'll talk about that um, a little bit later. So yeah, so this is the humanoid root part and it's um, part of, uh, so yeah. Um, 
you can see that the uh, main primary part is oh for for I think for the R15 it's head now but yeah it's basically the same okay so that's the primary part done but there is a problem so as you see it works very very well you can see that the thing is to whenever I move it turns very smoothly it works very very well so um but what if, but there's a circumstance what if i died let's say i was shot or i was killed by this rig there is there is going to be a huge problem the rig stops the rig stops because the because it because um the the rig stops because um, it it no longer knows that the player is is still um, in the game. So what we have to do is we have well it's not still in the game but it's 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 getting it's it's getting confused about the player because we di because we died and we respawned. So it needs to know about this new new um, respawned player. So what we have to do is make down a few lines. And we have to say if player colon find first child humanoid let's dot health if it's equal to zero then so let's say I died let's say I died if I died then um, it needs to know about this new respawned player so we're gonna say um, local um, uh, player two is equal to game dot workspace colon wait for child scripted ocean. So we're we're just gonna so now so we're getting the play player two. So this means um, it will get the new play the new scripted ocean the the scripted ocean that died and that is now respawned and it's getting that new uh, scripted ocean. Then what we have to say is rig colon find for child humanoid dot um um dot walk two point is equal to player two dot primary part dot position and now we have gotten the position so base it's basically the same line as this now let's play it. So, as the same scenario as before, let's say I died. So I'm just gonna get a little bit further. Let's say I died right here. You would think that it would stop right here, the rig, but no, you see that the rig is still following us. So, so that, yeah, that's how that works. Um, thank you guys for so much for watching this video. Sorry, I haven't uploaded it and I, I'm not uploading very consistently. I'll try to upload probably every every week. Um, but I can't make promises yet because, you know, I, I might I might not have time. So because of, of school, um, because my school is starting. So, yeah, that's so that's it. See you guys, see you guys later.